Yo, what up? This is Jay the Rapper with the new Fresh and Famous Anthem featuring Don Mega using Petey Pablo's Get Me Out of Jail beat. Make sure you hashtag Fresh and Famous theme song and hear it on FreshandFamous.com only because we be doing the kayak. Yeah. We be doing the kayak. Roll through the club looking so fly. Yeah. Got a few haters biting. But our swag makes some sizes. Yeah. We be doing the kayak. Roll through the club looking so fly. Yeah. Fresh and Famous Radio. Fresh and Famous, we spend fresh music and interview famous artists. We have a bad girl that you know very well, hosting Love Games for November and being the good wife that she is on the regular. Tanisha, what's the deal? Hi, how are you? Thanks for having me. Ah, how are you feeling? How are you feeling? I heard you were in Vegas not too long ago. Yes, I was actually in Vegas for um, the Vegas Bash, which, which was an absolute after because it wasn't put together probably but despite that we made the most of it nice 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 so how was it like the whole environment was everybody pretty chill well you know i got in late because i was working on another project that i can't really talk about too much Mm but um i came in straight from la so i got in really late on friday night Mm -hmm. um so I got in late. I got a late start to everything. Um, but for the most part, I, everyone seems to have a good time and make the most of it. Nice. So it was dope. It was really dope. And here's our first question. What do you love most about hosting shows? Oh, I think the thing I love most about hosting shows is the camera's not all up in my face. and all up in my face. <laughs> I don't blame you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it, it's, it's such a difference. It's such a difference to be the one, you know, giving the questions and not answering them. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, not that I don't like that part of reality. I do. It just comes with a lot of stuff. And you really have to be prepared. And everyone around you has to be prepared right. for, you know, when the camera kind of like invades your personal space, right. you know? Right. Um, never thought I'd be good at hosting. I just kind of fell into it. And now I am good at it and I love it. You never thought. I mean, how far did you think you would go after Bad Girls Club? I mean, you took off. Right I mean, after Bad Girls Club. Did you expect yeah, that? Yeah, it's crazy. When I got the call, um, the call back, because I swear I must have went through like 20 interviews to get on the show. Uh-huh. And in the final interview, when I finally got the call back, I remember looking back at my mom and I said, this is it. I, she goes, what? I, I said to her, I said, my life changed today. Wow. You know, and just, it really did. It really did. Um, I really had no idea where, how big I was going to be. Um... You know, but it just kind of took off and life on its own, you know. I was just being me. I was just saying everything I would normally say. I was doing everything I was I, I would normally do. Mm-hmm. Um, I had no idea that I would be Tanisha, like, you know, the brand today. Like, I would be the face of a network that I would have so many shows under my belt. Like, yeah. it's crazy. I can't go anywhere. I mean, overseas, they love me. It's, it's, wow. it's, it's that's honestly amazing. Honestly amazing. Good for you, Tanisha. Good for you. Second question that we have is, can we expect to see you and your husband on another reality show soon? Yes. Um, um, you guys can expect to see me on another reality show very soon. Obviously, Love Games coming out. Um, or something else that um, I can't talk about, but hopefully you guys will be seeing that um, early next year. And I'm excited about that. Um, and I'm also dabbling uh, behind the scenes and I'm also starting to uh, executive produce and you know try to create some of my own content so I'm excited about that you know oh, nice really good really good third question that we have is what can we expect from uh, Love Games 4 which you're hosting oh Love Games 4 is a great season you know why I love the guys this I love the, I love the girls well I love the girls I do love the guys I think the guys we have an awesome cast all around mm. and the guys have a lot of personality, and there's quite a few twists and turns um, that you haven't seen before from Love Games. The game, the game has really changed this season. It really, really does. Uh-oh. So I think that um, a lot of people are going to appreciate that because you're going to you're going to start watching and you're going to think you're, you're going to think you know what what's going to happen next based on the previous season. So you have no idea. So I love the way we switch things up this season. I love the cast, um, and I'm excited. All I know, all I know is that I'm gonna be on Love Games uh, season five. That's all I know, and you got you got to host that too. (laughs) (laughs) Definitely, Tanisha, right right here. (laughs) Tanisha, right here on Fresh and Famous with Jo only on FreshandFamous.com. Here's another question that we have: What does Tanisha do on her off days? Oh, 
which you hardly ever get from what I from how I see your tweets. <laughs> Oh, uh, um, on the off days, let's see. Well, there's no secret, honey. I love to shop. <laughs> <laughs> Don't all. So, so I love to shop. I will spend some money, honey. I love to shop. I mean, everything, girl, you named out of there. I love to eat. I love to shop. That's my two, you know, I go to those. I just go to those. But honestly, there's nothing that I love more than to just kind of curl up at home and do nothing. Nice. Absolutely nothing. Nice. Just get on Twitter, get on Instagram, kick my feet up, talk a little bit, order some takeout, and just chill. You know, <laughs> I relish in those days because, nice. you know, I, I, I don't really have much. Yeah. That's good. I don't have much downtime. That's good. That's good. Tanisha, right here on Fresh and Famous with Jail. Here's another question that we have. This one is pretty. This one I had to look at again because I, I, I kind of thought that this is a serious question that even I probably would have asked if they didn't ask. But uh, in the future, in the future, which three bad girls from any bad girls club season would you consider a legend? Legend. I would definitely say, oh, that's a tough one. There's a lot of us. I know. Um, that's that's. I think that's why they asked that too. There's a lot. Of, I would definitely say Camila. That's my um, baby. Definitely say Camila. I would definitely say um, Flo. Mm-hmm. Um, and um, I don't know the next one. That, that's a toughie. <laughs> oh, I may have to say. Oh my gosh, maybe. I don't know. Uh, that's a tough one. I, I don't know who the last one. Definitely Camila. Definitely Flo. Know who the third would be? I guess myself. Well, besides me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you count too. You count too. <laughs> That's a really tough one. I mean, because I like so many of them. You know, I really do love Will Marie. Mm-hmm. Um, I do. Um, uh, yeah, Will Marie is one of my favorites. Yeah. You know, I definitely love Lauren. Um, from season, I think it's season six. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I definitely love Lauren. Um. I don't know. That's a tough one. But the but the crazy thing is the crazy thing is though the crazy thing is though that that is that there were so many seasons of Bad Girls Club. I mean, you had like you knew for a fact that once you watched Bad Girls Club, something was gonna go down, and so many people liked that, you know. And they just had to make like so it's many. It's a lot. It's a lot. I will say this, and you know, no shade on any of the girls, mm. but I feel like after a couple of seasons, you know, it's definitely lost its heat. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm excited because I'm hearing that the new season that's about to come out definitely, um, you know, um, gives us a run for the money. You know, I'm hoping that that's the case because I want to see some girls. You know, when I did when I did Dragon's Club, we didn't know what everything was. It was new. We were season two. Yeah. You know, they're on season nine, so many season ten now, cast to season eleven. Yeah. You know, so honestly, honestly. You know, it, it's such a different thing now. Yeah. I don't know who's there for TV. I don't know who's putting on. I don't know who's really bad. Yeah. You know, and when it was all me and season two, three, and four, it was like, okay, we were really bad girls. We yeah. were really bad, you know? Yeah, yeah. So- and um, it's just kind of watered down now. You know, not everybody, but a lot of the stuff, I'm like, okay, that's extra. That's too much. You're doing too much. You need to sit down. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I ha- I actually I actually had a fan I actually had a fan who uh wrote me because I interviewed Camila as well and and I actually had a fan who wrote me um saying that that they believe that it's been watered down because nowadays it's all about popularity contests like like you know who puts in as long as somebody's in there and shows their face they'll become the next host of an event or the next you know what I mean the next the next big person do you think that as well right. I mean do you think it's now about popularity rather than just being straight out bad. I think it is like a popularity contest I think in some and certain aspects. You know, I really do. However, I, you know, that's not to be, that's not to take away from the rest of the girls because I still do think mm-hmm. that there are a couple of few bad girls that definitely make it hard for the scene. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Case of point from this season that's currently on right now, I love Ashley. Ashley's one of my favorites on this season. Mm-hmm. You know, of course, my girl Erica, you know, um, I didn't like the way she, you know, really beat up Rima like that, but she's a bad girl. Megan, oh, yes, Megan is definitely a bad girl, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So, you will find a couple of, uh, of the girls that I'm like, okay, I see why they're a part of this club, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, and then there's some where I'm just scratching my head like, uh, 
A what? what? Yeah. I was, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. But I don't judge. I never judge. I, I don't get into it with the girls mm. because I really feel like it's a sisterhood, no matter what. It's a yeah. sisterhood. We've all gone through this experience. A lot of people won't understand it because they haven't gone through it. No matter what, yes, we're different, different seasons, different times, but we all went through the experience of being in the house, no TV, no radio, no radio, very minimal contact with the outside world.